Hi everyone, my name is Chol, and today we'll be looking at the 3AS uh, control scheme for jetpacks. Uh, this mod is still in early alpha, um, so some of these controls may change in the future, but for now this is the working book. Uh, first off, let's go over which jetpacks this actually works with. Um, as you can see, it works with any of the Z6 jetpacks. Um, if you look, anything that has Machila in its second name, that's its official name, the first one is just a display name, anything that has Machila in the first name will work uh, with this mod. Next, let's uh, sort by mod so that we can see all of the, uh, here we go. The other jetpacks that this works with are the Marshall backpack and the Just Like the Simulations mod, uh, this one right here and um, it will work with any backpack that says Jetpack in its name. Um, so for example, even though this is in its display name, it's a jump pack, in its official name it says Jetpack, so it works, the script works with this uh, Imperial jump pack right here. Um, but for now, since it's more fun, let's use a Z6 because it kind of fits a little bit better. Uh, no, no, no. So this is the one that we'll be using. So first things first, before you do anything else, you need to set up the keybind, which you can do by going to controls, then configure add-ons, and then finding, for now it says TCW mod, in the future that will be changed to say 3AS. Um, these boost on and off buttons are for the afterburner script. Um, what we want to do is bind this toggle jetpack on and off. Um, I use the up arrow key, you can use whatever your heart desires. And Obviously hit OK, and then we're ready to go. The best way to take off is to get a running start. Um, w is the ascent key. So what we're going to do is walk forward, hit my keybind, and we're flying now. Another keybind that you can use if you don't want to go up and down and up and down when you want to maintain flight is Shift will maintain your altitude but keep your forward momentum going. And then obviously you can interrupt and go up. The other big important keybind is holding the S key. It will let you fall slowly. It'll arrest your fall, so to speak. So this is the best keybind to hold while you're trying to land, and that prevents you from taking fall damage um, as you descend. Um, the last two keybinds are A goes left, D goes right, and you can combine them with your other keybinds. So if I want to fly forward and then also fly a little bit to the left, I can hold W and then hit a. Another option is if you want to descend but you don't like where you're landing, you can pull multiple keybinds. Um, you can mix and mingle these. The last one that you can do is if you're flying forward and you want to hold altitude, you can also stop your descent or stop your movement by holding um, the opposite direction and turning to the side, or you can hold the S key while you're flying forward with the shift key, and that will also here, flying forward, I hold shift to maintain altitude, I want to stop moving forward, so I hold S and shift, and you can hover right in the air. shoot while you're flying. Um, one other thing to note is that there is a boundary in Arma that you can hit um, if you go above a couple hundred meters. So let's fly all the way up. I believe it's 100 or 200 meters, um, it enters this state. You can still fly like this, um, however, the only way to get out of this animation and actually shoot airborne is to fall all the way back down, hit the ground, and then go airborne again. Um, all your keybinds still work, so holding S will arrest and fall. And it will prevent you from taking any fall damage. So that's how to use the jetpack with the 3AS mod. Um, you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you think would be a good addition to the mod, um, you can let me know in the Discord address I attach below. Um, otherwise, I hope to see everyone uh, making videos with this cool addition. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.